uh, one of the biggest farm in Egypt. It's a thousand uh, dairy cows and the average milk yield is 37 kilograms per day per cow. Uh, the diet and basically it's 50% uh, of the forage and 50% of the concentrate. Hello everybody, now today we are in Egypt in a dairy farm and Dr. Ahmed will talk with us about the production, the city management, management and I think we have a, a good day today. Hey everyone, uh, I'm Ahmed Lolemi. I'm a nutritionist by training. I've got my master's degree from Cairo University in animal nutrition from here in Egypt. And then I got my PhD in dairy nutrition from the University of Illinois in the US. And today I'm going to give you a brief introduction about the farm that you are here today. It's one of the mega farms here in, in the north of Egypt. Uh, the total number of cows we have here, it's, it's a thousand uh, dairy cows. And the average milk yield is 37 kilograms per day per cow. And we're talking here about high quality of, uh, of milk. Uh, so for the milk protein, it's uh, 3.1 to 3.2 percent. And for the uh, milk fat, it's um, uh, 3.5 to 3.7 uh, percent. And uh, as you can see here in, in the feed bank, we have the, uh, uh, the diet. And basically, it's uh, 50 percent of the forage and 50 percent of the concentrate. And here in Egypt, we rely more for the forage on the uh, corn silage, uh, straw. Uh, and for the concentrate, and this is very tricky nowadays in Egypt because of the uh, economic uh, changes and economic challenges. So basically we rely, uh, or we used to rely on the corn and uh, soybean meal, uh, but now we are trying to use more pipe products uh, like uh, cotton seeds uh, um, and, and many others. And uh, by the end of the day, we are trying to have the uh, lowest cost feed that will give the highest and maximize the production and profitability. About the uh, dairy nutrition, one of the major challenges here in Egypt is to find the, uh, the, the raw materials, is to find the, the feed ingredients that you need to feed to the cows. And basically here in Egypt, we import more than 85% of the corn and soybean meal um, for, from abroad. Uh, and with the global changes from the economical side and from the political side, uh, from the main importers and main producers for the core and, uh, uh, and soy and, uh, worldwide, we had to find other ways to find alternatives for the feed ingredients. So we started to rely more on the uh, byproducts uh, that is available in, in our environment as it's cheaper. But we, when we change from the standard diet to alternative diet, we have to consider many things like the quality of the feed. It should be safe. It should have the minimal uh, mycotoxin load that will not hurt the, the cows uh, and by using the knowledge that you find you will find in the uh, Dr. Mike Hutchins course for the dairy nutrition and management you'll be able to understand the basic concept in nutrition how could we deal with the uh, worldwide changes in the feed ingredients and how could you provide the best solutions with the lowest cost for your cows and this course will enable you to interact with multiple communities not only from your country but also from outside so you can deal with the groups from Egypt from the Middle East from the US from Europe and then you can listen more to how did they find the solutions to uh, uh, to solve the the major challenges in different environment and this will help you to find the best solutions under your environment hi uh, everybody this is uh, Al Zahra Abdul Ali I am uh, associate professor of animal nutrition at Cairo University and uh, I get my uh, master's degree in animal nutrition at Cairo University and I earned my PhD degree in uh, dairy nutrition from University of Maryland in USA. Uh, to, uh, I, I also work for Santa Fe Agro Instituto. It's a Brazilian company for uh, veterinary and agriculture education, specifically digital education. Um, um, today we are in Egypt, uh, one of the biggest farm in Egypt. We're talking about the diet formulation and the diet evaluation using Ben State boxes. Uh, as, a, as we know that there is a diet that you formulate on your computer, there's a diet that you mix in the mixer, and then the diet that we put in front of the cow, and then the actual diet that the cows eat. So Benestate boxes will help us to evaluate the forage and the diet uh, particle lens and separate the particles so you know uh, what is the particle lens that cow uh, eat and also will help you um, to, to uh, the, deal with or to treat the problem of sorting that the cow does if the feed particle is low. So as we see here, the Ben State box is four boxes, three boxes and one uh, bottom um, boxes that receives the very fine particles. And the top two boxes actually, as we see here, they separate 
the long particle size, which is actually the effective fibers that protect the rumen, keep the rumen health, and uh, uh, help you make uh, the milk uh, fat percentage increase. Because as you know, effective fiber is essential for milk fat percentage uh, and milk fatty acid actually um, uh, manufacturing in the memory glands. Uh, so using the Benestate boxes will help you um, sort your diet your silage and also your hay. You can evaluate the hay, you can evaluate the silage, you can evaluate your TMR using the Benestate boxes. This box can help you adjust your nutrition. If you have rumen acidosis, this will can figure out why you have this problem, how is the percentage of effective fiber that you have, and this will help you increase your milk production.